Hi guys, today I'm going to do a small demo of uh, Blue Retro latest firmware uh, version uh, 1.1.1 So that version had the support for those fantastic uh, Switch Online controllers So this is the Nintendo 64 uh, replica of the Switch uh, It really feels like uh, the real deal And uh, I'm playing right now the Japanese version of Mario 64 The one with the uh, Rumble support so look at that. Oh, first I have to connect it. Look at that. I don't know if you saw it, but uh, the rumble is really strong. It's not the the weak one uh, like uh, the Switch Pro controller. So it really feels like uh, a real uh, rumble pack. So. Uh, it's just like a uh, original controller except uh, it's wireless and then uh, obviously all the button works also uh, Something important about that controller is the joystick, so it's uh, just like the original one and also the geometry is the same, so like uh, one thing special with the original Nintendo 64 controller is that the shape here is not a circle or even a hexagon uh, with uh, equi-angular uh, 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 shape, so this one is a bit square-ish, so you have uh, to the maximum you reach in the diagonal is a bit uh, is a bit bigger than uh, than those uh, uh, circular shape uh, joystick. So, but the good news uh, for that controller it's that uh, it's uh, indeed uh, a bit higher than uh, the regular Switch uh, joystick. So, so there's no software uh, uh, processing in the controller, so it output uh, just like uh, the the same geometry as a uh, a uh, real uh, Nintendo 64 controller. So the the range is not the same. Right? It's a uh, the range of values a bit. Uh, there's more precision, but uh, the geometry is the same. So that's one thing with Blue Retro. Uh, uh, not right now, but uh, for regular controller, I plan to add uh, that uh, geometry adapt adaptation. But uh, in the case of that controller, uh, you don't even need that because uh, the joystick is already. Uh, is already okay. So at the same time, uh, Nintendo really said the uh, Sega Genesis controller. In North America, we got the three button one. So the build quality uh, really feels like an original one, except uh, you have uh, three extra button at the top. And the same for uh, the Japanese one, which is the, based on the six button version. So the co both controllers are the same, like, except uh, obviously you have three extra button on that one. I just make it a quick demo. Let's try multiplayer. So the feeling of the controller uh, is really nice. So. Let's uh, give a try to the six button controller with Mortal Kombat. So we can see the, the two different uh, type of punch that we get access with the six button controller. So not really good. Yeah, maybe not my game. So this is not new, but uh, you can use the the SNES uh, Switch controller as well. And also uh, the Famicom and NES uh, controller are supported, so you can even do cool stuff like doing uh, a four-player with them. 
by the, using the multi-tap emulation. So that's player one. That's player two. And that's player three. And player four it's over there. So that's it guys. Uh, I hope you get to enjoy using uh, all the Switch Online uh, controller on the actual uh, original hardware. See ya, bye bye.